In the radio studios of America, the technicians, the entertainers, the commentators, the administrative personnel daily unite their efforts in the creation of programs to please and entertain a vast radio public. The wide variety of broadcasts include group discussions, political speeches, sports, drama, and comedy. These are the programs that America listens to. Many of the programs are provided by large companies called networks whose offices are towering skyscrapers. In their employ are thousands of technicians, musicians, and artists. And with their elaborate facilities, their stations are joined together in networks that stretch from coast to coast, their giant towers straddling the country. But also serving the public are radio stations without networks. Typical is this small independent station in New York. Its power is only 5,000 watts compared to the 50,000 utilized by the big companies. Its studio is the top floor of a building on Broadway. Its radio audience is composed of listeners in only five states, as compared to the nationwide public reached by the large networks. Yet it serves its own audience profitably and well. On the air all day and most of the night, it broadcasts news every hour on the hour, with special attention to the city's own affairs. It reports hometown sports events. It interviews distinguished visitors, such as this famous radio commentator from Japan. These programs are produced live, but live programs use only 20% of the station's airtime. The other 80% is broadcast from records, because a recorded program is the easiest to present. It needs only a turntable and a record. Now a radio station, like any other business, must show a profit. To do this and still be able to provide a certain amount of free airtime in the interests of the public, it must sell a major portion of its time to those who wish to advertise. When that happens, advertisers talk to the audience like this. Here's really big television news. You're the first to hear all about all new 1952 light-tested television. Where do you see it? In your own home, of course on a sensational free home demonstration. Call Circle 6 2500. That's Circle 6 2500. Usually radio announcements merely recommend a product, but this station provides its clients with a special service. It advertises merchandise and then takes orders for it. The value of radio time to a sponsor is judged by the amount of goods it sells to the public. Responsible for the policy and operation of the station is its president and owner. He must conduct his business to warrant the trust placed in him by the government, which grants him free use of the airwaves. Awards for public service, improvement of race relations, and promoting the safety of children have made this station one of America's leading public service stations. For such campaigns, the president is directly responsible. One of the more important station activities is the educational department directed by his wife. It's her job to maintain contact with groups interested in public welfare. Perhaps the key man is the station's general manager. He bears the responsibility for putting the president's policies into operation. He is in charge of operations, personnel, and all phases of broadcasting. Among his duties, he acts in an advisory capacity to the salesman. The program manager is responsible for contact with the community and evaluates public service needs. His first responsibility is to see that the station runs smoothly from six in the morning until midnight. He must keep a balance between music, news, religion, sports, and other program interests. To learn what the public likes,
his assistants make frequent surveys of listener preferences, sometimes by personal interviews, otherwise by telephone. The results of these calls are tabulated, providing the program manager with a standard by which he can shape his policy. Sometimes he works out an idea with a salesman for a special client. For it must be remembered that advertising is the station's only source of income. It is the salesman who is given the task of creating ideas to sell the advertiser's product. New ideas mean new clients and more money to the station. When the idea has been approved by the general manager and the director of programs, it must then be prepared for the ear of the listener.